welcome to Vanessa Moon Tarot. Uh, hello, lovely Capricorn. Lovely, lovely. Uh, <laughs> your energy is really sweet for your, uh, your meditative session. It's really, really sweet. Oh, you guys are feeling sweet. Uh, this is your August mid-month check-in, August 2019 mid-month love reading. This is a love. This is about love. Uh, <laughs> you guys are feeling uh, your energy is very sweet. Very, I I got searching. You're searching and searching and searching for the key to your heart. <laughs> Who has the key to my heart? Is what I got. Uh, really, uh, some type of letter or correspondence, or some. I got a. Some type of important letter is coming. Uh, I can only say that in the Lenormand, which is, you know, another game of tarot, the letter is usually a strong indication that you're going to hear or get something, some message that you really, really need or have been waiting for. Uh, so, or an official document, just putting that out there. You guys also, I saw, uh, felt very fancy times like dressing up like not regular fancy like like a gala or um some type of uh, tuxedos a lavish dinner um very fine fine uh arrangement of flowers some of you are getting getting geared up for some type of major event that you'll be attending and maybe this is where you'll find the key to your heart an invitation you meet, receive an in that's it the letter was an invitation. Somebody out there is going to receive an invitation. Take this how it resonates uh, for some type of major event. At that major event, it's going to be very poignant for your love life. Maybe some of you are getting married. Yeah. But either way, you guys are definitely on the hunt, it seems like. You, uh, have a co you're very accomplished uh, with regard to this search. This is not a search you take lightly. This is not a search that has easily been come by a uh, come has easily come to you you have worked hard to achieve a certain place or a certain status in life and from there you want to now expand and you want to grow your empire and you want to add a person yeah nice energy capricorn uh this may just be for singles i don't know or it may be for a couple trying to take it to the next level wedding energy definitely that uh if you're in a connection already then this could be you guys are doing a strong strong energy of like a renewing of the vows a renewing of the vows or planning something big like a surprise for your loved one something with invitations <laughs> So sweet, Capricorn. So, like I said, such sweet energy. So, let's see what your tarot cards are looking like. Your tarot's red. We just had a full moon in Aquarius. Wow. Aquarius is your second house of self worth guys and finances so you guys might begin to boost in your finances um and your self-worth definitely how you how do you see yourself you know in regards to this connection or how how do you see your life what do you want your life to be that is the mode you should be in right now that is if not that is what's coming towards you and how you can build your wealth what makes you comfortable what what are the things that you feel you are owed in this life that are well deserved and that are earned that you can achieve that would make you feel good about yourself your material comforts your self-worth how does that relate to your self-worth have you been living the life that you always wanted how are you going to achieve that and here's a boost from the moon an end to one old way of, of, of thinking about yourself and a beginning to the new way of how you think about yourself. How does this translate to your love life? 
one card got mixed up in there. We don't want that. We don't want that. Hmm. Alrighty. Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. You guys had some really amazing views. I really appreciate the love and support from you all. My YouTube page is brand new and already YouTube is on got me on track to do some really awesome things and I can't I, I can believe it, but I still am genuinely surprised. So <laughs> thank you all for your support. I, it means the world to me. So let's get into your reading. I'm going to pull five cards. All right, those came in reverse. Put those there. Yeah. Let's get all these cards on the table, and then we shall discuss. Love mid month August 2019. Capricorn love mid month August 2019. Too many cards. Capricorn mid month August 2019. Capricorn mid month August 2019. Ooh. Capricorn mid month. There we go. I knew I had a peeker. And under the bottom of the deck, we have the world card. All right, that's actually your major arcana because it represents Saturn. Even though it represents the fixed signs, uh, Aries, I'm sorry, not Aries, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, and Taurus. Even though this world card represents the fixed sign, always know that it's still your, it's still a Capricorn card because, in, at least for me as a reader, because it's ruled by Saturn and Saturn is the ruling planet for the sign of Capricorn. So it specifically means that you're moving into a new chapter of your life um, very optimistically, okay? This is getting a worldly perspective, right? A worldly perspective on all the th lessons you have learned because Saturn is a karma card but what specifically does that mean? It means that we have learned some sort of hard lesson but we've come out on top right? And we now can have a broader and mature point of view about something because of all the things that we've learned and how it's also represents, you know, travel and the four seasons. So you could have gone through something for a year now and it's finally concluded and you're happy about it and you're taking your, your lessons and you're moving on to bigger and better. You're up leveling yourself. You are getting, um, basically the opportunity to go forth towards greater uh having completed a cycle and entering a new cycle where the weight of the world is off of your shoulders and rather than the weight of the world then the the experience and the knowledge that only the world can offer you has been bestowed upon you i like to explain that card a little bit in depth just because it is a card where we uh we need to process. It means that you need to process the things you've learned in your love life, and you really need to, that's what's going to help you going forward. All right, so you got the Five of Cups, the Magician, the Six of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Temperance second house yeah so the five of cups coming into the energy this could be the recent past in your love life it could be the current energy take it how it resonates uh this is the message you need to hear whenever you hear it the five of cups means we experienced some pain or some loss recently that's something that made us feel really kind of bad <laughs> Really bad. This guy feels really bad in this card. Um, specifically, we lost out on something. Um, in this card, though, behind him, he has two cups. There's still two cups here. So while you're worried about whatever you lost, the opportunity for love is still there. It's still there regarding this situation. Two cups represents soulmates, represents I love you, people that see you for who you are, and they and you see them for who they are, and they like what they see, and they love what they see. So... Regardless of what's going on in your life, do know that love it still can be attained. And you're manifesting it with the magician, okay? This is using every single tool at your 
at your availability to bring forth a new opportunity. Okay, so how do we manifest? We think positively about the things we want. We work towards, we work hard towards it, and we don't put any negative energy on it, despite our doubts. Okay, and then right now it says you're in a very charitable energy. You're um, balanced, and you're you're actually in a good mode. Like this is six of pentacles means that you're making money. You're making good money. You're able to give to yourself, and you're able to give to others. So what does that mean specifically for your love life? There is somebody or something that you want to give to. You want to spend on and you want to give your energy to, but you make sure this specifically is making sure that you get back exactly what you receive. So you want something fair. Okay. You want something balanced. You want an ideal relationship, the kind where they support you and you support them in every way. Uh, then you have the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords uh, specifically is a queen that can be a little bit uh, distant and I don't want to say cold because she's not cold, but she's intelligent and she is rigid a little bit. So she's that energy of what do you have to offer me or how best can we move forward in the situation in regards to me? She is, she's a little scorned. And I say that because she's just someone who's been through a lot. So she's not taking any crap going forward. Meaning like she might not be bitter or mad, but she just wants to know somebody is in the energy of they're getting to the business. They're getting to the business here. All right. Um, I'm not really sensing your energy. This could be you, but it looks like this is someone else. So it looks like you're trying to give to someone who is being a little bit cold and distant towards you. And you're wondering how or why. And the temperance is here as the guidance. Okay. So the temperance literally means just that spirit is working it out for you, kind of mixing the light and the dark energies or the not even light, but emotional and the passion, whatever you want to call it, mixing the energies, right? To kind of figure out the best possible outcome for the situation so that it can come to together in the way it's supposed to. So things are working in your favor, especially with the world card. It means you may have just closed out this chapter of being cold and, and things being unbalanced. And it might be, it's possible, it is going to a better place or at least but the temperance, it's healing, okay? The temperance, first and foremost, is healing energy. So this connection is healing. So let's clarify this Five of Cups. Let's see. Five of Cups, Four of Swords. Five of Clubs is clarified by the Four of Swords. So after you just took a beat, after whatever you've been through in this past, you, <laughs> you took a beat, you took a rest. You you're like, all right, I'm going to figure out what's going on. This is coming up off of the Three of Swords. So there was definitely some heartbreak in the past. Definitely um, taking time to heal some wounds. And it looks like you took that time and you're, you're kind of moving through it. You may be not completely healed, but you're moving through it. Because right now it's like you you see something you want and you just want it to you want them to come towards you and not be so cold. You want to that they want to talk. It's it they want to talk, but they want you to talk. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Like they want to talk, they have something to say, but they're waiting to see what you have to say before they talk. Right. So Something that the thing that has awoken you from your your sadness and your slumber has is this passionate new opportunity that's coming. So the five of cups was clarified by the four of swords and the ace of wands. So basically, this is a fresh start, a fresh start, completely new fresh start. This is something you're passionate about, or someone has struck your struck your fancy after you took a time out of this to heal up from some type of heartbreak in the past. Just get really like anal about how my tablecloth is. All right, so clarify the magician energy. Clarify the magician energy. Clarify the magician. The magician, please. We have the Capricorn. Ooh, a lot of cards came out there, but I'll take them. The magician is clarified by the judgment. The Two of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Justice. 
All right. So these are the things you're trying to manifest with the magician. All right. So it says you're trying to make a final call about which way to go with this person, how to work together because you're confused and you really want this situation to be fair. You feel like somebody has a lot of options or that you have a lot of options and you're trying to figure out, is this the right decision for you? You're, you're kind of teetering and you're kind of sick of it because again, you want something that's fair and balanced. So perhaps this connection hasn't been fair and balanced in the past, or if it's a new connection, you're looking for somebody that gives you something fair and balanced. You're tired of all the options out there. This is somebody that's really sick of dating. If you're dating, you're really sick of dating. <laughs> you're tired of your, that's a lot to show you, but you're, you're really, really tired. Like if you call judgment on a confusion, that's like, you have a lot of options. And you're tired of you're 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 trying to resurrect something you're trying to you're trying to get something going that's solid and balanced. You want your good you're ready for your 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 justice to come in, your 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 karma, your good karma to come in. And you're making a decision to put yourself on display and put yourself out there, right? And show people what you've learned with this world card. You might be leaving the old ways behind. You might be leaving a person behind. There's a lot of storylines here. But in the, regardless to all of it, you are manifesting a new beginning. You're, you don't, you're trying to weed through, weed through all of the, the fluff, it seems like, with a person or with your dating life. Clarify the Six of Pentacles, please. Clarify the Six of Pentacles. Clarify the Six of Pentacles for Capricorn, please. Clarify the Six of Pentacles for Capricorn. Clarify the Six of Pentacles for Capricorn. Because you got an Ace of Wands with some sex cards. <laughs> Trying not to do it every time, but, you know, that wand. <laughs> I'm always curious about why people are driven so much by it. I think it's definitely it's a creative start, you know. But it's also, I feel like, how can we be more creative with our love lives? All right. Wow. Okay, I see here. Capricorn. Six of Pentacles is clarified by two queens. Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords. Are you talking to two people? This could also be you two are in your queen mode, so I'm going to get a little bit more clarification on that right now. Queen of Wands is a very fiery, passionate queen. Um, she's like a she's she's basically like the bell of the ball, the the star, the, the 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 party starter. The Queen of Swords is kind of cold and distant and methodical, um, smart, intelligent, and is not opening up to you right away. She does not wear her heart on her sleeve. You have to come to her first. She needs to see that things are balanced out. She needs to see what you have to offer her. Um, if you are already dealing with her and then you you may have some explaining to do. Um, and the Queen of Wands just wants to have fun. She just girls just want to have fun. Girls just want to have fun. So it's if that's coming up under the six of pentacles, that could be giving to two. Just saying. Giving to a Queen of Wands and giving to a Queen of Swords. And you're calling judgment. Or you could be in your Queen of Wands energy and wanting to take action towards somebody that's being cold towards you. And it's Somebody is needing to step up here because we have two people in their feminine energy and we need to see a balance of feminine and masculine. It has nothing to do with uh, gender, all right? It just means that both of you are being a little bit too passive. And it's saying here, the, the, the Six of Pentacles, let's get one more. One more is being clarified by the Eight of Cups. So somebody needs to walk away from something in order to get clarity on a situation. Uh-huh, right. So somebody is deciding with the Six of Pentacles to walk away towards their destiny here. So here's what I got. Somebody's already in a situation with, with one queen, all right? Probably this Queen of Swords. But they see this Queen of Wands here. And they're deciding, I might not be as happy as I thought I was. This is not my destiny. I need to move towards my destiny. I need to heal up. This is also healing energy. So if you've been through something, you're also needing to... You've got two cards of healing here. So you might need to do some introspection and 
actually two cards of healing and three very spiritual cards here. You, you need to do some healing. You need to balance out your energy. And you need to figure out what exactly is driving you in your life, if your life purpose. What is it you want in life? And you need to go towards that. Yep. Some of you might have really found the one and you're just shocked about it. And you're not with the one. You thought you were with the one and you're not. Some of you, you just, you met someone already and both of you are, wrong deck. Both of you are being a little bit too passive right now. You're not telling each other. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Clarify the Queen of Swords, please. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Uh huh. Okay, yeah. Clarify the Queen of Swords, please. Clarify the Queen of Swords, please. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Capricorn, please. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Capricorn. So with the Queen of Swords, you got the Devil and the Ace of Cups. You got the Two of Swords and the Page of Swords. So if you're getting this energy from this person, it's because there's something. It's because your energy also has a Capricorn, a Devil energy. So this is somebody you're feeling extremely tied towards. This is somebody you're kind of really falling in love with. <laughs> this is somebody you, you have a huge cup of love for. All right. This could be new love. This could be new love. And you're feeling very tied and bound to them. You don't know what the connection is. You're feeling a lot of temptation towards them and a lot of lust. And you don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. This person might not be talking to you right now because they see that you have too much going on. But they're watching you. Okay? They're watching you and they don't know what to say. They don't know what to say about the situation. They don't know how to proceed. And they're trying to figure out and trust their gut on how to proceed. And they're trying to find their intuition by researching you and watching you. And they might give you really shoddy communication right now. But it's because they're waiting for you to speak up. They might be watching your social media. They're paying attention to you because they're trying to see how they feel about the situation. Because they have love for you. They love you. This is somebody that really cares about you and feels stuck towards you. That feels stuck on you, basically. Not even stuck in a bad way. It just feels like it's a connection that's bigger than them. Clarify the temperance. Or you could be feeling this way towards this person. Remember, energies can flip. Clarify the temperance, please. Clarify the temperance, please. Clarify the temperance, please. For, oh, okay, there we go. For Capricorn. Jeez, on. Capricorn, what you got? The four of wands here. So y'all done messed, messed around and, wow. Well, clarify the four, four of wands. Clarify the temperance and the four of wands. All right, and one more. Clarify the temperance, please. Clarify the temperance, please. Clarify the temperance. Why do we need to heal it? Why do we need to be patient in this connection? What do we need to be patient about? Oh, wow. The King of Swords. King of Swords is at the bottom of the deck here. Just saying. You got the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords because there's a perfect match in here. And you got the Queen of Swords twice, by the way. And look, the Six of Pentacles are on the bottom as they are in the middle of the reading here. Six of Pentacles. So right now, you could you really want to balance out a situation or give it to two people. And it's, it's not going to work. <laughs> That's what I see in here. It's not going to work for this Queen of Swords. You got the King of Swords at the bottom. So you're trying to figure out the best course of action too, honestly. You're trying to figure out the best course of action. Where, where, how, how you can be with this person because you recognize. You right, the King of Swords recognizes the Queen of Swords, okay? The, whenever you see the same suit come out, it means you're well suited, but it also means that if this is not the person you're with, that's the person you're supposed to be with, or if it's the person you're already with, like you could be married already, then you could you guys could be taking on an energy where you're trying to make decisive action towards one another because this Queen of Wands is here. There's a, there's a third person in this. So, 
we have the temperance here. The temperance is the outcome or the best course of action. So you have the healing energy of the Archangel Uriel mixing together the energies to make sure everything's right. Why? Because this connection involves some type of uh, home energy, a reason to celebrate your home. So a union is upon us. The Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. The Ten of Pentacles is here. This is a long-term, stable, committed, connected relationship where uh, a family comes out of it, wealth comes out of it, lots of money and stability. And somebody wants to come in with a love offer. This is the I love you, I need you, I want to make love to you, and I, I want to marry you, sweet nothings card. So the temperance is saying that you have all that coming in and you need to just kind of balance out. You need to heal up. You need to balance out some things. A lot of cards of balance here. Six of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, uh, Temperance. Things need to be fair and just. Things need to balance out. Uh, the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords also represent how to take our emotions out of the situation and become fair and just and how to talk to one another. Logically. So what is the advice here for the Capricorn? I really think that somebody is having to make a decision because they're feeling quite bound to someone else and they feel like this new love is where it's at, but this person is not. Or or it could be also that you may have figured out that the person you're always with is really the person for you and they're no longer taking any crap. You have a decision to make, but they still love you if so. There is a couple here. Honestly, the queen of wands always shows up as the mistress. So the mistress is not winning in this equation. Just saying. The third party is the third party. Regardless of who you're moving towards, somebody's getting left out here. And if it's a married couple, it looks like the mistress is getting left out. The fire sign. Right now I see uh, Capricorn, you showed up twice. Aries, Leo, Sag. Sagittarius. Um, and air signs. Yep, Aquarius. Strong Aquarius. Strong Aquarius. And Libra. Strong Libra. Yeah. Oh... All right. What is Capricorn's best course of action? Uh huh. What is Capricorn's? Mm hmm. What is Capricorn's? Oh, that's a lot. All right, here we go. You got. Aw. Aw. So, okay, so you, this is specifically the Seven of Swords, the Seven of Swords and the Knight of Cups with the Page of Pentacles. So this actually was first, Seven of Swords, Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacles. Seven of Swords means kind of circling back in, this, in regards to love, circling back to what you already know, returning to the scene of the crime or leaving to get to get this Knight of Cups. Jump, going fast, quick, fast, in a hurry. Some of you need to circle right back to where you've already been and offer this person something stable. Okay? Okay? Take it how it resonates. But Seven of Swords is an unstable, lying, cheating, stealing, not good connection. But it also can mean going back to where you've done wrong and making it right. This is, I mean, that's what these cards say right here. Go back to where you've done, offer them, tell them how you feel, tell them how you love them, and offer them something solid and small. Start small. Start small. Um, the next bit of advice you have is tell them, well, it says you will have a victory if you offer this person a new beginning. Okay, so you will have a victory here. All right, it says that somebody loves you or you love someone and you're withholding feelings. These are two big love here. Somebody's got a big love, big new love for someone. <coughs> Excuse me. And there is a victory here. Okay, you will get recognition of this love. You will get recognition that somebody's holding back, but recognition of this love is coming. 
if you have the guts to tell to talk about this new beginning and really take this new this leap of faith towards this new beginning communicate how you feel send them a message or maybe you're going to receive a message that sparks a new beginning okay but really go into it with positivity these are two cards of being really just stupid excited <laughs> stupid excited about something and they're saying you should be because somebody's got this king of, somebody's got this king of cups energy and this ace of cups energy this is a ace of cups came out twice twice so this is a very renewed energy renewed i'm getting renewed off of this renewed energy uh someone is rooted in the way they feel okay this is could be a father figure maybe you have children with this person but they love you Okay, they love you. They're grounded. This is also a Scorpio. Somebody could have changed their player ways and they all offer you another cup. Okay, and then you have the fool. So then you have the fool, the page of wands and the six of wands. Okay, so this is jumping into new beginning with excitement and receiving a victory. All right really taking a leap, send a message, tell this person how you feel, communicate, and you'll get a victory. That could be them or it could be you. So let's get some love angels, romance angels advice here for Capricorn. What does romance angels have to say for Capricorn? Engagement. That could be engagement too, you know, because uh, just so you know, Knight of Cups came out twice. So some of you really need might be might be offering an engagement to somebody. You might be offering a ring to someone. You might be offering a ring. Mm -hmm. Especially with this Ace of Cups here twice. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. So that's like kind of like love comes around and love comes steps up. Love comes again. New love. But in, in a new way, right? Renewed. I, I got renewed energy off of that, off of you guys somehow. Um, maybe, maybe you want to make this person your wife. Maybe you want to make this person your husband. Like, maybe that could be also the, the Queen of Wands going to the the Queen of Swords energy. Because this it could be somebody going from single to a couple. If there's someone else, you're going towards a new person. Take it how it resonates. This is reading. It's for a lot of people. But it says very soon. Okay? So it says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So let's get one more. Let's get one more. For Capricorn. One more for Capricorn. One more for Capricorn. All right, it says getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Oh, you guys, your bond. I said you got an ace of wands, right? I mean, regardless of what's going on here, you got ace of wands and you got ace of cups twice. So I think that's a green light. And it says you need to go towards someone, to talk to them, talk to them. This this uh, four of wands is on the table. That's big energy. These are both um, stability, marriage, and family cards. So marriage is on the table. Engagement's on the table. New love is on the table. Renewed energy is on the table. Things are moving in a positive direction. I don't see any negativity here. I mean, for real. There's there's nothing. There's there's not. Your love life is going. What, you're in this five of cup energy now, which is this loss and this pain, this five of cups energy. Um, but things are changing for the better. You're getting a fair and balanced connection is coming in. So, what if I this Ace of Wands, please? Oh, okay, one came straight out. What if I this Ace of Wands? What if I this Ace of Wands, please? One more. What if I this Ace of Wands? What if I this Ace of Wands? This is called the, ooh, this is called the Decameron Tarot. Decameron. All right, so... You have here wow two of cups two of cups two of cups all right so two of cups is literally the i love you card 
So this person really loves this person. Uh, you also got the Six of Swords. So this connection is moving. So these two people are like stealing away together, right? They're stealing away together. So this connection is moving to a better place. It's gone from a tumultuous to, to you know what? Let's just run away together. <laughs> uh then you got you got two sixes wow two sixes sixes bring gifts okay in my opinion balance as well like we got a heavy energy of balance uh and then in this connection so you got six of wands here remember so you got it twice that's victory and achievement and recognition uh you're winning and this one there's a lot of penises okay there we go but it's a house it's a house. Uh, and then we have the world card. So we have the world card twice. He sees her as the world. He wants to give her the world. And we have the two of swords. So this is trying to decide, not trying to use your, nothing you can see, taste, touch, or smell, but use your mental faculties and your intuition to figure out what to do because you just don't know what to do, but a decision needs to be made. Um, so he can't see her, but he knows he's about to make that decision. <laughs> and then you have the page of pentacles so the page of pentacles in this deck he is just they want to give you something all right so i don't know if she knows what he want to give her but something small yeah mm -hmm. so this says this is your soulmate two of cups came out the, with the um the cameroon sex card there you go that's how they feel about you that is how they feel about you they see you exactly as you see them that's wonderful. So thank you for visiting my page, Capricorn. <laughs>